Praise the Lord. God bless you. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you. We bless your name because you know everything and you have them in details with you. I pray, O oh God of heaven, that as we listen to your word, you will help us to uh, do all that we're supposed to do to be delivered from any power that is holding us in bondage. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Um, I have two books that is similar in title, but different in activities. Number one is the battle plan for destroying foundational occultism. That's a different separate book, about 77 pages. This one is the battle plan for destroying foundational witchcraft. So there are two different, this one is 78 pages, about 11,000 words. So we're facing witchcraft now in this short video. It's going to be short, but you need to get this book because this is what many Christians are going through now. Okay, let me say this few things. Many people in our generation today, even Christians, would rather wave off the topic of witchcraft, probably because it sounds scary to their ears. And not immediate topic they would wish to listen to or to embrace. Witchcraft is a very dangerous department in satanic kingdom. Our generation has gone after prosperity, teaching and motivations, material things and gaining the whole world at all costs, even at the detriment of their own lives. But they will not know that this is witchcraft. They will not know that this is bewitchment. Many people in our generation has continued to close their ears to warnings of the old, which are well written through the scripture for our learning, for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction that will bring us into the righteousness of Christ. Witchcraft is not something that so many people understand. The teaching of the word of God in a whole will tell you that witchcraft is among one of the most dangerous weapon of the devil today. The Bible said in Isaiah chapter 6 verse 9 and 10, and he said, Go and tell these people, hear ye indeed, but understand not. See indeed, but you perceive not. Make the heart of the people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. The devil is fighting the preaching and the teaching of witchcraft in our generation because he knew that if you know about witchcraft and how to destroy their plans, Half of your problem on earth will be solved. But thank God that God, by his infinite mercy, has a full teaching in a book about the battle plan of destroying foundational witchcraft. So I will not spend much time in telling you about witchcraft because it's a vast teaching. 
But in this book of 78 pages, you will get details and compare everything that is being said in this book with the scriptures that are written down. So make no mistake, one of the core operational modes of the queen of heaven and the queen of the coast is to work on the victim without making them understand what is going on in their lives. This is one of the best military strategies in this world due to the high success rate of witchcraft activities on earth. That was why the scripture made mention of not knowing and not understanding, having the ear to hear, but witchcraft spirit will block you from understanding. Even in the heart, it will block, that is, block every understanding. You will see, but you will not understand. You will see the activities of witchcraft, but you will not understand. I went to a particular country some years ago, and when I studied the move of the devil in that country, it was obvious that what the devil is using to destroy destinies in that nation is witchcraft. But unfortunately, from the biggest pastor to the smallest pastor, and the government of that nation does not believe in witchcraft, does not want to talk about witchcraft. Even senior minister, church founders, general overseers refuse to talk about witchcraft. It is scary. They don't want to talk about it. So, but I knew that that was the core problem that everybody in that congregation were having. Mysterious happenings were taking place in their lives. So I said, what do I do? How will I tell these people that does not want to hear about the word witchcraft, that that's what happening to them? And then I was led to title my preaching that day, Mysterious Happenings. And then by the time I finish with quotations, everybody came around and said, Pastor, this is exactly what is happening to us. I told them this is witchcraft. And then they begin to make research and discover that it is witchcraft. Because once you have the knowledge of what is happening to you, the Lord will show you a way out. So my brothers and sisters, let me leave you with this small book. 78 pages, about 11,000 plus words. Get through this book. Let me even plead with you to purchase this book in hundreds, in thousands, in millions, and share it. Because once people begin to know the knowledge of witchcraft, then the problem is solved. Do you understand what I'm saying? Use it as a, an evangelistic instrument to fulfill the Great Commission. If you feel that you buying it in Amazon or from Amazon will cost you a lot of money, get me involved. Send an email to me. Let us agree with the little money you have so that we see whether you can print it locally in your country and share it to billions of people that you can reach all over the world. The question is, how best do we defy witchcraft in the modern day term? So you could expand the scope of your spiritual vision and become and become or remain vigilant like a true Christian should be. How do we describe witchcraft? The strong dictionary definition of witchcraft is clear. Witchcraft is divination. Witchcraft is, is bewitchment. Witchcraft is, in fact, get this book, you will get the detail of the description of witchcraft. It has the dictionary, it has the Bible dictionary, everything, and everything has Bible reference. I'll pray for you now, then I'll leave you with this book to go through it 
and get victory over the foundational witchcraft. This book is titled The Battle Plan for Destroying Foundation Witchcraft. Once you're able to destroy foundational witchcraft and destroy foundational cultism in another book, then you have achieved 90% of your battle. Father, we thank you. We bless your name because in everything that is happening in mankind, you have the solution. I pray that through this book, many that are deceived, many that are under attack, many that is under oppression will be set free from witchcraft, bewitchment and divination and the attack of the devil. In the name of Jesus, Amen.